Hello, welcome to Sir Richie Rich Video Solutions. I'm dealing with A level applied ICT PIPA for 2015 S15 QP4. Right, let's get ready to solve this paper. I have my source files already. These are the source files for for this paper. Alright. Um, now I guess you should be able to go past this this point where you're supposed to create an evidence document and store all your evidence. Uh, make sure your name, candidate number, and center number appear in every header of the document. You've been doing this, so I guess you can pass by this. Uh, we have these files to look at, but well, let's get ready to go in. Question one: Rock ICT have introduced an X. L club consisting of a maximum of 40 members who receive email updates and discounted tickets. They are also entered in a monthly price draw. It's been decided to introduce a membership card for the Excel club and create a more secure club membership identical. Open the Excel club the CSV file to inspect the current membership club. So uh, Excel club not CSV. So I've opened I'm trying to open that file. Now you know working with CSV and uh, the Microsoft Excel file system, I advise my students to always save the file in the standards of the software before they proceed. So I'll go to save us and I'll choose Excel workbook and uh, I'll just save it just as such. Remember the original file given by CIE will be in .csv but we are saving it as a standard to the software we run. I'm running Microsoft Excel 2007. So you see XLXS at the as a file extension. All right. So I'm through with that. So I'm supposed to open this and inspect, which I've done so. Um, and then, all right. It's been decided to introduce a membership card for the club. And create a more secure club member identical. Open this, and then we're supposed to do what? Add a new column called club ID, club underscore ID, which is which will consist of the first letter of the member's given name and surname with the membership number. So, for example, uh, they've they've given us a way to go by this, but I think that this should be easy to achieve if you are very familiar with your string functions. Uh, with string functions, I mean your concatenate functions and your left, the right, and the mate functions and your test functions and all that. So we can we can easily achieve this. So the first thing to do is to add a new column called club underscore id, and that data is supposed to come up by um, extracting. A members, the first letter of the member's given name and the first letter of the member's surname plus the membership number. And so, what do I do? I, I can use so many means. I can use sum, I can sum the individual extraction, I can also use ampersand, I can also use concatenate to generate. Sorry, either I use concatenate or I have to use ampersand. All right, so I can use concatenate. So concatenate, you don't have to use sum for this function. You have to use concatenate or ampersand to join the left, the mid, and the right functions. So concatenate, then I do left. So left, this, what are you extract? I'm extracting the first character. So concatenate, then I bring comma, then I do another one for left I'm also taking the first character of this so I'm taking the first and uh, let me confirm from the question paper and we have to add the membership number we are not extracting a part of it we are adding everything so how do I add everything to the one zero zero and so we can just do comma and then we'll add that okay and this will give us I don't need to extract anything for that because that is straightforward 
and this will give us the club ID. All right, we propagate or replicate that, and we'll move on. So you can see that our example is it's what we've just done is, is equal to the first one they did for us. So we are we're on the right path. All right. Provide evidence of the formula you use and place this. So you need to provide evidence. How do you provide evidence? You need to go to formula view and so you need to show evidence of this. How are you supposed to show the evidence? So you're supposed to place it in your evidence document. Remember, you're not supposed to print this. So you can just come here and um, you now these things may not be important. So I can hide I can hide this. So I have only this. Then I have something little to show. Then with this you can capture your screen you can do print screen and and show evidence uh, all right so that i think that is that you just print screen this and add it to your evidence document and your evidence is done all right so let's go back um, remember i had to hide some of the data so I'm trying to unhide them all right so that is that okay the next question now B it's been decided to add a security number to the new club ID code the security number is to be calculated as the digital root of the membership number by repeatedly adding the digital digit until a single digit active so basically a digital root of of a number it's when you add the numbers successively or repeatedly you're supposed to achieve a single digit you're supposed to achieve a single digit now but let me take this opportunity to explain this for example looking at what they have given us if i add one two and five i'm getting eight they are getting eight and uh, that is if you add 1 2 and 5 it's called the digital sum so you are doing the digital sum now if your digital sum is less than it's less than it's a single digit then you have a digital root so you realize that the second example 4 2 7 when we add 4 2 and 7 you are getting 13 13 that's a digital sum but digital sum is not the same as digital root to get this out, we have to add the individual digits of the digital sum again to get a single digit. So we do an iteration in the successive order until we get a, a single digit. So you realize that one frame must be added again to get four, and that we and assume we're getting a very large number after adding this. Then we'll go ahead to add until we get that. That was all the import of this part of the question. And in order to help students, uh, I'm sure she has she has realized that this question was quite a bit off, considering that not all students are mathematical students. And so they gave us a clue that if you use modulo 9, there's a function called mod. If you do a mod on this membership number with modulo 9, you are going to get a number less than 10. You know, in 10, there are two numbers, one zero. Anything less than 10 is one digit. So that will solve the problem for us. So we have to do mod, and that is the simplest and the efficient way. Now, you can also try to add up the individual numbers to get what you are looking for. But that um, I must tell you that that is going to be very cumbersome. I've tried that approach. I was able to generate it, but it's quite cumbersome. You need to do, you need to extract individual. You extract, let's say, for example, you do left left of this you do mid this you do right of this you add them and you get 13 now remember we don't want to start we want the digital roots and so one three is larger than 10 or 9 so what you do we have to now extract again and keep on adding and that is very 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 cumbersome and so the easiest way is to go through by what the examiner suggested so i'll just put in security 
code and I'll just do mod so remember more what does it return the remainder of a number so uh, if you want to register root of a number that means that when the number the number must be less than must be less than, less than 10 and so to get any number less than 10 the, that's the, the closest number will be 9 and so uh, we have to divide that number by 9 so let's say 10 divided by 9 will give you one remainder 0 so the register root of, of 10 will be 0 that is yeah all right so mode the number is membership number and the divisor is 9 so I get 1 okay so uh, 1 plus 0 plus 0 will give you 1 that's straightforward 1 plus 0 plus 3 will give you 4 so we are expecting 4 to be printed here 1 plus 1 plus 0 will give you 2 expecting 2 in that order all right so when I replicate this function you see what I'm talking about. We are getting zero here because uh, this is giving us two plus two plus five, and that's going to be nine. And nine divided by nine is it's one remainder zero. So that is the so everything is, is working very well. If you're going to use a long approach by using extraction of left, mid, and right, you are going to do this over and over and over again. Probably I may have to do this as an add up video so that for students who want to explore that. Can also do it. All right, so let's move on. Provide evidence of the formula you used, and please do so like we did. You show evidence of the formula. You have to add it to your evidence document. You don't have to print it. So you go to formula view, and like we did, you can hide one or two information. And then, all right. So this is what they want. And then you can show it. Remember, anytime you are showing evidence, everything must show in full. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the evidence you, you print screen and add to your work. All right. See, amend your club ID code to include a security number as shown below. We are supposed to amend. Amend means to change or alter the data. So somebody. So we're supposed to amend it to include security number. Now we have generated a security number. We are supposed to, if you look at this carefully, because you see that it's not just the first character of the given name and the first character of the same name and the membership one, but there's hyphen eight. And uh, the eight is supposed to come from the security code you just generated or security number you generated out of this. So for example, one plus two plus five, they will just give you three plus which is eight and that's the eight and that is the number we generated using the mode or the mode of, of that number and so it's just a matter of concatenating those two cells or changing it amending it so here I'm just supposed to amend this so comma then but there's hyphen how do I get the hyphen I need to introduce double quote put my hyphen in double quote and comma and I bring this no no I bring this then I close sorry about that I have to take this all right so that is how you do it I guess you can see what I'm doing. So this is how you do it. So I just amended. You see, they didn't want you to create a new column for that. Just amend it. So here I ended here the first time. All I needed to do was to just, you know, concatenate add uh, information from different columns. So just do comma. Then I put my hyphen, my hyphen in double quotes, and then I bring my K2, which I've generated already. And so I can now populate it again and everything will be done just as we want it all right all right so provide details of a method so we have to show evidence again the same way we did for the first one show evidence all right now save the space a new club new XL club so we we'll just go and do save us all right 
so we add new to to this based on the question all right that is done all right so we, we have saved the data as new club new Excel club and you can see that's the name of the file so we continue uh, we're supposed to extract the data for membership numbers this to that and display only the club ID given and send the membership number columns we're supposed to place the test security number examples as a title in the header okay so let's deal with this one first and then we'll continue from there so extract data for membership numbers and so we go to sort and filter we have to filter Alright, so we we filter the membership numbers. Uh, we can deselect all, and so that we look at the question paper: hundred, one, ten, one, twenty, hundred, one, ten, one, twenty. So hundred, one, ten. Then we have two thirty three fifty, two thirty three fifty. Three fifty. And then Sorry about that. Let me take it again. I'm trying to do is such that okay so let's get it hundred so I deselect hundred one ten one twenty two twenty two thirty two forty three forty three fifty three sixty and four six nine Four, six, 
x no. all right so we've done that I can come to my full screen all right then what are you supposed to do again display only club by the given and send the membership columns I place the now the, the best way of dealing with this there are so many ways it's no particular way uh, all right so we're supposed to do an extract you've done the extract and print it out uh, so what what basically I'm going to do is to all right so this is the extract you're supposed to show some fields so what I'll do is that um, I'll highlight the fields that are not needed and hide them and uh, you're supposed to show these fields and we're supposed to place something in the header so as I go to print preview this is my extract but uh, one more one more one more I forgot the membership oh, sorry it's giving him send a membership and then the club ID so um, so you realize that all right so these are the four columns we need to send so I just have to go to print review and uh, go to page setup go to header and footer and you're supposed to place something in the header you place something in the header uh, place the test security number examples as a title centered in the header and your name center number in the footer so custom header uh, centered so I put in the center you have to type it and then my name so my name uh, center number an index number in the footer and uh, alright so you can see my name is here when I scroll down it should fit on a single page so fit on a single page and Uh, I've done that. Make sure that it has been on a single page and print this extract. So you should know how to go by this extract by printing on this extract. All right. So we are done with the question one. We we'll move on to question two. All right. So more members have applied to join the XL club. These applicants are listed in Apple Application.csv file. They are listed in order. Note this order of the date applied and will be allowed to join in that order. The club has a maximum of 40 members. Complete the club membership by adding the service applicant to the new club file. So uh, this, is a, this is a file. Let, let me close this. Uh, let me just go to and remove the filter after printing everything. All right, and then I'll uh, select here. And uh, sorry. Um, good all right so I have everything and so all right so remember the, the club has a maximum of 40 members so it tells you that if we have a maximum of 30 members 40 members uh, how many can we add now you can all you can verify that from the from this file now when I check the number of 
records I have 38 based on the row number but the first row it's first row is um, that's the, the column name so when you take that one that will be 37 it means that we can add three records so that means that we, when we add three 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 records the table will be completed that is how you can know the number of records you need to add now how do you do that the question said that they are added the application was in a certain order it was like first come first save sort of and so if you check the april application remember they applied in april so all dates are in april and um so that means this guy applied 4th april 2015 9th april and 10th so i tell you that these are the people that will be added in that order in that order and so we're supposed to add this detail to this information but how are we going to do that we can only do that by also referring to their full membership detail that means their city their postcode their email address and all that by just adding adding that information so we just have to now there are so many somebody will use look up to that, that will make the work so cumbersome i think that it's just we same the question is just add it's a simple addition just a simple addition if you want to please look up and all that you're going to make the whole thing difficult for you just a simple addition and when you check the markings you realize that it was a simple addition There's no look up or anything it's just that you don't have to type them manually copy and paste is still an automated way of doing things you didn't type them yourself so you can use a copy and, copy and paste approach to achieve this so um, I'm supposed to put the files here but then I need to pick the members so clear this will be the membership number so maybe the first three so you need to show evidence like I'm saying you need to show evidence of this you need to show evidence that this is what you are doing the copy and paste you need to show evidence so whilst I select and I right click and go to copy I'm supposed to show evidence of my copy you can print screen this and add it to your evidence or um, so when I come to members as I'm pasting I can also show evidence so but make sure they don't mix up so then I need to add up they are giving name and their same name okay and we can find one one five two four three so one one five this is a given name same name and you can that this place could have even better to add up everything so uh, is this guy so that is it one one five all right good sorry about that let me take it again I just need to select up to where I copied I think it should end here and this should be exact all right then remember date join will be April all right uh, okay let's finish the two four three two four three two four three end here because when I compare the records that's the order
all right so joined in April sorry uh, sorry uh, April or right. then the last one five one two You could also filter this information and just copy it and paste it. That can also be an approach. You can just filter, I think so, um, that you filter. So 115, 243. And then the last one is um, one one five two four three five one two one one five two four three five one two one one five two four three. Five one two Great. So I've taken I've taken you could have just copied the free. And I'm left with this last one. Could have just copied it. Yeah. So like I said here you can do whilst you copy you, you capture this as your evidence. Alright, and then you will send it so because I've done the first two I will not repeat that alright and this must be April alright so then I just replicate this Let's replicate it. All right, so I'm, I'm done with that. Uh, what what next? All right, complete. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, we've added their personal details. Complete the request for the new members, including club ID, and show them as joined in April. All right. So we have, we've updated their personal details. We've updated the club ID by replicating the function and then with I'm also showing they join in April so that is that sort the data of current members into a send of surname so current members so these are the current members supposed to sort into custom sorts the best to use Sort by ascending order of surname, I think so. Ascending order of surname. So ascending is A to Z, so surname. Alright, it's done. So look at the same, you see about A onwards, uh, I think that that is that. Alright, so the next question. Place the test complete as a title, center in the header, and your name, center number, in the footer. Alright, so remember you did the previous one, so if you go is there, you just have to delete it. And then, then you are supposed to print that list of members explaining only this and that and that. We've gone through a similar approach. So this time we just add surname and joined columns. Okay. So we're supposed to come here and like I did. It's better you go here, print preview. 
then go to page setup custom header I have the previous one so I'm supposed to put the new one in my header and then uh, my name and blah blah must also be here I think so in the footer we've done that before it's also print this display only club by the given name surname and so uh, all right so um, like I did given name surname for the membership and then the join so I'm going to hide this these columns and then hide this one also so now I've added a surname, a given name, surname, membership, this and that. So you just have to print preview that. And I have, I have this 40 with my details at the, at the top and all my photo and everything is working. Alright, so um, now we're supposed to use the the file notification to mail merge letters to them who apply to join the S Club in April. Alright, we're going to achieve that very soon. Alright, uh, I just realized one thing that I need to I need to chip in. It's very very important. Now let's go back to the initial stages. We realize that when we generated a security code, we did mod mod of the, the membership number, and then we take we took it to mod nine. That that formula is okay, but remember that we just need a digital root, and it digital roots any number below ten. When you add the individual numbers to get the sum root, the sum of digits. So now. 115 for example we got um, 7 that's a security code to, to, to mod 9 and so if we have some some body like this is getting 0 but um, it's not very right because membership number is 360 so that means 3 and 6 will give you 9 it's supposed to print 9 because 9 is still less than 10 and it's a descending digits. We don't have to force the zero. So then we have to place this is just modification. So that it will go, it simply means that it will go as you are solving the paper. I know you've gotten this far, you have followed the tutorial so easily, but it's just a matter of learning it so that when you want to try the paper again, you modify it from the onset. Uh, I don't think you took anything away from the beauty of the of the work I'm doing. So I, all I need to do is you know just to test. Just to place a test, okay. I just have to put a conditional field so that if mod of this it's all right. So, like I said, we just need to place an if. So if so we need to test so if mod of is to nine is zero if it evaluate to zero uh, we don't want it to force it to zero because nine if it's nine it should be acceptable because nine is still less than ten which is the digital root of the numbers so if it is zero what do we have to do print nine because that means that because you added for example you have two two five two two five two plus two it's four plus five is nine then it will divide by nine and give you one remainder zero the zero will be printed but we don't we want nine to be printed because nine is there it's still a, a digital number which is less than ten and so if this mode of this is, is given as zero print nine that means that don't print zero rather print nine 
otherwise then we have to do more of otherwise we have to do more of this by 9 All right, so you realize that everything is generated. I'm still getting the same as I had earlier on. When I duplicate this, where I had zeros are gone. Now I have nine instead of zeros, and this is the correct one. All right, all right. So, like I said, it goes back to update everything you have done. That is just the difference so far. So, I think we can still progress with where we've got into. Now it's been decided to record membership in the in this file. In a new column labeled XL Club, create a formula to display club ID for the members of the XL Club only. So we're supposed to add this information to this file, membership file. We're supposed to create call XL Club. Alright, now we're supposed to do what? Create formula to display club ID for the members. Alright, so since we have the Excel club, it's so easy to do. We just have to do a lookup. Alright, um, all right, so I'm sitting in the membership list file now. So what I need to do is start a view lookup. Then view lookup. I look up value obviously will be membership number. <clears throat> and then a table array will be this. I remember we must select from this membership is supposed to include up to this club ID and then I return column if you count the columns you see that we started from here so one two three four five six seven eight so return column is eight or index column return column index number is eight it has to be exact match so that will be zero or false now press enter I'm getting it all right so all I need to do is replicate but you see that the question gives us an, an indication here um, in a new column label create a formula to display club ID for the now, I just realized I skipped question two uh, I've seen it I'll come back to it we'll deal with it. it's very easy we'll deal with that when we are through with this question three. Let's quickly. All right. All right. So uh, we're supposed to display a blank cell for non-members, and so because the lookup couldn't find any um, club ID for this, for these records, it's showing you not available. So how do we bypass it? Now, if you read the marking scheme, you realize that they said that a simple find and delete could have solved it you just have to place find uh, and delete okay you can just look for find what All right, so we are getting all those information here, but um, all right, but I will not use that approach. Um, uh, yeah, we can also use a small function, or we can use the if error function, but I prefer the if 
so all I need to do is the function call is it's not available okay checks whether a value is this and returns true or false so we want to place and check this so if this value if this value Alright, so we're supposed to display a blank cell for non members. And uh, we'll go to our membership list file. From our lookup value, this is what we got. We did a lookup, view lookup. Lookup value was C2, referencing to the new club file. And um, return column was 8 and has to be exact match we put zero there now you realize that we are getting not available that means that that when the lookup is calculated that data does not exist so it's not available but the quest paper is saying that we are supposed to uh, make sure this na is showing empty or blank cell and so how do we achieve it there are so many ways um uh, let, let me give you about two ways of achieving this we can we can simply filter this um, can, so we can just sort it a to z on that and just highlight this and delete it it's a very very valid approach find and delete you are using find and delete and delete the na and you can sort it back to the old format that approach is there If you don't want to go by that approach, you can you can use a function to achieve that. All you need to do is that after you've gotten this this answer, you can place if error. Now if error function will, will check. Now this is the value. This value be evaluated. If it's true, the, if it doesn't give an error, the value or the answer for this lookup function. Will be displayed otherwise what error do we want we want an error to print an empty space so we bring we open double quote so open double quote i press my space but to put an empty space then i close the quote and we just have to modify the function and so if error evaluate this value if it's true return the answer if it's not true if it's given us an error return an empty space and the typical error you can find is the not available error. We have the div zero error and other error. So if I run it, I replicate. You see that I have my blank cells displayed, perfectly done. All right. So you realize that everything is done. All right. Let's move on. Um, in your evidence, okay, we provide details of your method example. So you display that function, you, you, you capture the screen, you add it to your evidence document. Now, you're supposed to add an appropriate title in the header, your name, center, and my candidate number. What will be the appropriate title? Maybe new club membership list. 
uh, or valid class membership list or um, yeah something like that so like as usual you go to your print preview you go to your print preview and you you put it in the header and the footer and you print it all right so we've done a couple of that so let's move on Uh, print only the first page make sure all con column fits on a single page so I'm sure you can pass by that principle now be create a macro or procedure to carry out the following steps using new membership list file now what is the purpose of the macro the macro is supposed to sort the data into a sentence of surname select the members in the Excel club embodying these headings print the data and so now I advise my students to always make a copy this will say there's a new membership list so let me quickly do that we add new to the file All right. I always tell my student to, you know, it's your first time going to run this macro on this document. You don't want to entertain errors in your final work. And so it's always good to make a copy of this file again. I'll try it. You just try your hands on it and see that everything is working. If you realize that everything works perfectly, you will now go back to your original work and perform it. Now, in that case, you'll be faster to do it because if you make errors it's going to destroy the whole thing so you can just make a copy and try that all right so uh, let's begin with the macro we go to view macros record macro uh, give it any appropriate name and then there's a general description of this macro but the question said we should place descriptions uh, comment every step of the macro and so uh, we'll just con go ahead the, the recording has started so the first thing is to sort the data into a certain of saying how do you sort so in order to sort just select this all the data select your data go to home go to custom sort bring the field the, the column you are sorting surname ascending is a to z remember my data is a header so it's selected already all right so the sorting is, is done you see once we do on surname it should start from a so clearly that is done so that was the first one it's still recording, recording remember display the members in the excel club how can we get that we have to filter just go to filter and you can you re, when you come down you realize that blanks are also selected you can just deselect blanks and you have your data it's, it's that's the easiest means to click also go to custom filter and please not to go to blank that is also available but I think this should give us when you check down you can see 40 records remember the full membership must be 40 and so we are we are correct on this case and uh, the next thing is to display all the club ID giving name surname and email address columns so giving him surname membership is not part we highlight the street city postcode email is part so we hide this And then, so giving send an email, telephone number, it's not there. And then the club ID is there. All right, what again? Embodying these headings and then print the data. So we just select row one and make it bold. Then we go here. Remember, before you print any data, your name, index number, candidate number must be there. Alright, and then there should be an appropriate heading based on the
previous printout we've done so we can um, all right so we just have to go to print and uh, selection preview uh, all right sorry we needed just to have selected this all right so all right so whatever you need you can go to page and then you just click on print and based on the printer settings you have you can can print your work All right, so that is my printer. So I've done it. All right, so it's printed. Now the main thing to do uh, is to go and stop the macros, stop recording, and uh, when you check the question again, they say run the macro project to print the document. So you realize that whilst you are doing the macro, sort of, it's going to print the data, and so. It's like a two things, the same thing happening twice. So once the data has been printed, run the macro to print the document can always be avoided because whilst we are doing the macro, you printed the document. So there's no, but however, I can so run, when you run the macro, it's going to print. But you're supposed to insert explanatory test into the macro before each of the steps specified. Let me quickly show you how to achieve that. So when I go to macro, I just go to view macro. This is the macro I just recorded. Just go to edit macro. Now you realize that right from here, your your sorting started from here. You can see sort on and all that, and that tells you that you have to just comment it. So how do you place a comment? You place a comment by putting uh, bringing an apostrophe, just a single quote. All right, so I can comment. And then I comment, uh, sort So like sorting, so I send the order of said name, you put something like that, and you, are, you should be able to identify the rest and place appropriate. And when you go down, you will see that uh, the other ones you did, everything is done currently the boarding and you know, so you just try to identify this is the auto filter I did where this field is empty so you place you remember you see everything ends with this is the first part is ending with then the next thing we did follows that will also end with to auto filter this is a column we have to hide. You can see it. So you place, you place it here. This board, you place it here. All right. So print preview, print out, copies one. You place it here. So that is that. And once you are done, you can close this. And so print a copy of the macro procedure where, where we went to you just have to go and print it so you come here then when you go to edit you you print this you print it but in, remember before you print 
there's your name in this number you can't the number as you please you can place it in the comment here this is a comment but you can create your own comment come to a new line press the single quote and you add the information you need to add remember any comment you place will be turned into into green you can see this green as soon as you introduce the single quote every data you, you type next to it will be green that means that it's a comment so I can place my name in this number and print it all right you can also copy it to your evidence document since that will have your index number and then you print it all right print your evidence and then write to this date so that is that with the question three all right so you realize that it's supposed to the question two part B uh, you're supposed to use the notification dot out here to mail merge letters we've done the A so that should not give any problem which in April insert test end now when we open it's always best to open because this question did not talk about any source file before you can do mail merge you have to have a source file that will contain your your field names and the data to be inserted and this document will help us to have the source file so So you realize that when I come here, I see what source file do I need. I did a software that will have the membership number. They're giving you the same name, the address, and uh, the um, and then the the club ID from the question. They say we should insert the club ID when necessary, where indicated. Now, and so we have to prepare. But remember that this letter must be sent to the five people who did the application in April. And you remember that only three, the first three uh, applicants in that order were successful. So we just have to create a file that will contain, which I have done already. All I needed was to just go to the the new membership list, the original one that has the blank and all that we did. Remember, we added the club ID to the end. Just filter those ID, five ID numbers. And once I get this, and once an ID number is assigned, that means that applicant was successful. If you follow this tutorial very closely. So all I need to just add another field called maybe application and call it successful, not successful, 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 not successful. And so we have two not successful and one uh, and three successful. So this is my final data source. And that contains the given name, send the membership, street, city, postcode, email address, telephone number and all that. And so this is my, my data source. So I'm going to use the data source to run my mail match. Okay, so um, let's let's start the mail match now. The first thing to do before we even attach the, the source file, insert dates. When I remember the date must be D D M M M Y Y Y. So the month must be four, and the year must be four. The day must be two. You have to take note of this. Very, if you do it any other way, you'll be wrong. So I just need to select this side and um, go to insert a simple date and time here. But I have to choose the correct one. I have to choose the correct one. Uh, that means the month must be in full. The year must be in full. This will not work well. It must be in day, month, year order also. Right. I think, no, this is not in full. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think this, this is the correct. So you can see DD. MMM stand for full month and a 2015. 
so this is the correct date that must be inserted all right now we have to go to mailings start mail merge it's a letter recipient use existing file So I need to I need to browse and locate So this is my data source. It's attaching the data source. So we have attached <coughs> a database. So let's insert membership number. So I select this, then go to insert merge field. So membership number, insert given name, and send name merge field here. Remember, we have to space this insert address mesh which you use one field per line. So, street address when I'm done, I'll space them and bring them one line after the other. Postcode, all right. I bring it down. Bring it down. All right. Okay. Insert given name image dear. All right. Insert conditional mail field. Now, what's the conditional? information here now for those members whose applicants were successful use a conditional to insert the test congratulations you are now a member of the rock ict club so we are supposed to put this information your club id is for those whose applications were not successful that's the second part now the second part if it's not successful, instead of the test, I'm sorry, but the club is full at the moment, but we will notify as soon as there's a vacancy. Now, the club ID should only follow when the applicant is successful. All right. So, we'll see how we'll go, we'll go past that. So, now, then we go to rules, if, then, else. So, if... If remember my data source, I added a new application. If application, the test I put there was successful and not successful. So I make sure I type exactly as I put there. So I think this is the word I put successful. If application goes successful, here's a test you have to place there. 
all right otherwise 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 this information goes here all right and so we'll deal with the club id when we are done so click ok so this is this is what we have now we have to now place the club id here all right and uh, because some of them have a blank club id automatically if you place an id there so let's look at the merge field if merge field application successful member your club id is otherwise this so so just here be careful just here we we place just after the column we place a merge field this all right if if i toggle field codes okay uh, all right we should have placed it here rather you have to toggle so that you clearly know where you are placing it Let's try and bring a space here so that you all right. all right. So we can see that we are within the the double quotes of the first if condition. All right. Okay. All right. So with this we can preview results and see we have Jake Abbott whose application was successful all right and then we go to next we have Maya Roli I'm sorry but that whose application was not successful all right next successful next successful not successful so uh, that means that it's working all right and don't forget to add your name so your name in this number center don't forget to add it it's very necessary all right so once you add it you can now finish but well, let's check the question if we've achieved and so each letter will be formatted consider after the new image print a copy of the media question or perform the image create and print the letters so five letters will be printed and so once I finish a match, you always have to use edit individual letters. You click OK. I have five letters. I have five letters generated for me. And so you can see my document is intact and they are in, in the order mine. Everything is, 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 is OK. All right. And just perform and print it, then you print the letters. And that is that for this part of the question. So, all too soon, we've come to the end of a wonderful paper. Uh, I think that this paper it's quite standard, except that you need to go behind the normal practice. Some of the functions we have to use were well, not the everyday functions we we're using, but I hope that you continue to practice and you'll get. To the best grade that you have ever wanted. See you next time. This is a Richie Rich IGCSEA level video solutions. Bye bye.